guys, welcome back to my channel. Now today we're going to be doing VMK versus VOK. So basically, on here on Virtual Magic Kingdom that we're on right now, it's basically a virtual online game of the Magic Kingdom and it has like the different maps and stuff like that. So basically, I did a video on this before, but I wanted to show you guys the comparison between the two. And... Basically, why, which one's better, which one is way better, some stuff depending on the situation. So, for me, I'm basically a Disney person. I've always liked Disney stuff. You know, I watched a lot of Disney channels back in the day. And basically, on this game back in the day, they would always make, like, different rooms for different films on Disney Channel or different other films, all that, furniture-wise, too. And it's really fun to play, and I'm hoping we get more play people, like, on here to play it with us, you know what I mean? So let's see, this is the end, This is the, the main entrance room when you first play the game. You make your account, you come to this room, very welcoming, you know, it's the background all do this out with the Mickey, the giraffe, the sorcerer hat in the background, you know, the benches. So I'm gonna show you guys a few rooms, basically, that actually are my favorite rooms on the game, actually. Let's do that. So basically, we're going to go to Adventureland first. Because my favorite room on this game is the Tiki Tiki Island. Um, this was always one of my favorite rooms to basically be in, actually. On this game. It was always one of my favorite rooms on here. I just love coming here. I wish they added, like, Tiki benches in certain spots. You know, so you can sit down with your character. But it is one of my favorite rooms. I like Tiki Hawaiian stuff. I've been to Hawaii twice, you know what I mean? So it's very enchanted, you know, like, very, like, Oshi feeling, you know what I mean? Like, if you've ever been to Hawaii or whatever, or any island, you would know, like, it's that feel. Always liked it, you know? All right. Next room, basically. Pirate's Treehouse because of... Pirates of the Caribbean, you know, who doesn't like Pirates of the Caribbean film franchise? Who doesn't like it? I would say when they were, when they started making the films, it was like a success. Like all the, everyone started watching it nonstop. There's a lot of funny moments in the films, you know, and then, then the game came out and they said they made this like pirate room with the cop from Blackheart, you know, and as you guys know, like, if Giant Top ever does the new film franchise or whatever, if he does it, you know, I'll watch it. If not, I don't know if I'll watch it or not because you need to have the main uh, actor actually, like, doing the movie. It's kind of sad that, you know, like, if he doesn't do it. The thing cool about this room is the pirate ship in this room and the school. The school in this room is really cool. You know? Um, so basically... Yeah, I, I like these rooms. Alright. My next favorite room in this franchise, actually, is the elephant bathing pool. I wish that I like an elephant right here in the water, like squirting water out, you know what I mean? They didn't do that. And I'm hoping eventually we'll get like some, you know, things added like later on with like different maps that maybe like the staff will update it and make it their own, you know, but we'll see. Next thing for me is the Pirates of the Caribbean Lobby. My favorite game on here to play all day. If I could. Right now it's empty. There's not a lot of people on right now. I wish there was. You know. Groups of two on each side. Four versus four. You know what I mean? And battle each other out. Like fight each other. Like in like the real films. But you're actually playing on the game. Like battling each other. And get... Credits, which is money on the game, and actually buy furniture from the different stores. Get pirate furniture, Fantasyland furniture, Tomorrowland furniture, depending on what comes out. So, for me, it's always trying to make pirate rooms the 
techie rooms, which I'll show you guys a few of my rooms or other people's rooms. I think I think that's cool about when you play this game, you get those keys and you come to the pirate treasure room. I said in my last video, and basically open these chests and get prizes out of them. It could be pirate stuff or whatever stuff out in them. You know what I mean? Um, every time I come here, I look at this guy right here on the ground. This painting. It looks like the guy from SpongeBob. Every time the painting he sings, let the song uh, SpongeBob on there. Ah, Captain, I can't hear you. Ah, Captain, ooh. Who lives with the pineapple? Under the sea, yeah. So basically, <laughs> it just reminds me of that, like, every time I see that painting. I think cool about this room, because I'm the cannon over here. No. I still like to hang out in this room all the time. So, not right now, but, like, before, like, yeah. Um, all right. Frontierland. My favorite room on in this Frontierland map is the dock, of course. The dock is one of like the nice rooms, you know what I mean, on this map. Besides the sh the boat, which we'll get to there next. I always liked it. I can go pretend to go fishing. You know what I mean? It. I always liked this room and the music and then the boat in the background. You know, very cool. The other one that's cool, which is right next to us, I could just walk over, but I'm not doing that. Is the Mark Twain Steamboat. I wish, you know, there'd be more people in these rooms and give, give these rooms some love. Like, well, all of them, but, like, for, like, my rooms, I wish there was more people in them, too, because, like, I can actually talk to people. Um, I like this, you know. It, this brings back a lot of memories. I actually can go up here, actually, on the boat part. My other favorite map is... Tom, on the map, is Tom Sawyer Island on this map. I like this map. So basically, you actually can go to the top and sit on these parts. You have to do it. So, on the right side of the top, it's the, you have to enter from the monorail, basically, for the top one. Go on the monorail, wait till you get to, where it says Frontier, then you exit, and there's another exit on the other side. You exit, and it takes you right here. The other side on the left, actually, you have to go through the caves, which is, I think, the mountain, which is cool to hang on top. But it's shut down due to the fact they added a game inside of it, the staff of my VMK, and it's like a gem game, I guess. I've never heard of it until when I came back, and I couldn't even go into the mines anymore. And I'm hoping they bring it back, you know, like, even though it's just going to be a game in which they can just open it so we actually can go in there and get to that side of the section, actually go on top and sit down, you know what I mean? So, for a fantasy land map, my favorite rooms on here are Snow White and hide, the Hide and Seek Forest area. Very calm, cool looking, you know what I mean? They did block off the entrance here to go to the top part, which pisses me off because I always love to go on top and just chill, you know what I mean? But it is what it is. My other favorite place is Matterhorn, you know what I mean? Chilling out, talking to the Yeti, you know, frozen. I wish we could throw snowballs in here. Just throw snowballs at each other like he does. Um, my other favorite room, actually, on this map is at the Fantasyland Courtyard. Go on the Peter Pan ride, Alice in Wonderland ride, you know what I mean? Get get those little magic keys, oh, put on the sword and get, you know, get a prize or whatever. My other favorite thing on this map is this one is actually I actually like it because you're gonna see like the carnival like area and then the Ferris wheel in the background and it's like you're in the sky with the yeah and the the skull on on the perfect perfect you know. Uh, my other favorite thing on this map basically for Fantasyland if I go back. Hmm. Um, I would say the dungeon's one of my favorites, too, with Maleficent, which Maleficent's glitched, they need to fix that. And, basically, I, I wish they had this on the map, they don't, but, basically the spell room. I always love this room, chill on here, and just pretending you're making magic and stuff like that. You know, that's another plus. Tomorrowland. 
Um, I would say Captain's Quest Quarters is one of my favorite. They do have that when you get in here for collecting shells. So, this is one of my favorite rooms on here on Tomorrowland. My other favorite would have to be... Maybe Tomorrowland Hub. You know? Get an exit there, go ride. You know, but... I don't really hang out on Tomorrowland as much. There, you know? So, for Main Street, the main entrance we entered, es Espanade, Espanade, whatever you want to call it for you guys, what I showed at the very beginning is cool. Town Square is another favorite of mine. I, I see people cheating in here all the time. My other favorite is the sci fi dining room. The sci fi. So that's another thing I like on this game. The other place I liked is the Castle of uh, Four Court. You know, because you see Mickey and Minnie gets away about them, you know what I mean? The Central Plaza is a really cool room, you know. Main Street is just Main Street, basically. It's just like the main road. Um, love to see more people dancing in this room. I wish they fixed the DJ area we play on a little mix, just like on the monorail. But they haven't, so... The Orange Square, my favorite rooms are, are the New Square and the Blue Boy Isle. And I usually hang out in... This... Reminds me when I went, you know, to Disneyland and I saw all this. And then the Blue Boy Ah. Gonna eat. I wish they would actually have them give us our meals, but. Not yet. Animal Kingdom. Okay, this is a new map they added on here. I would say my favorite room is this one. Because of the Lion King. Come on, who doesn't like Lion King? 1984, if you're born in the 90s, you know, come on. So. Love it. The World Showcase. I love every single one of them the way they made it because it shows the different stuff. You know? And this is only the picks up here. I love the picks up here. You know, hopefully they add, like, we're going to go inside that place, that place, you know. It is what it is. So, basically, we're going to go to the guest rooms, basically. So, these are my own rooms, basically. I have a few rooms I've actually made. So, let's do this room, which is the background you guys are talking about, the Animal Kingdom room with the giraffe in the background, if you guys saw my little um, chair list with the zebra stuff in the background, they move. You know, I added some stuff in here, and I had my friend Ice Bright Life help me on that, you know? To click on all this again. Oh, this room. I would have to say this one's one of my favorites. You know what I mean? And then to also because it's it you can exit to the the player. I love the player just chilling, really hanging out with people. You know. And then back to the guest room ways. Uh, oh. This is one of my favorite rooms, actually. I wish they had the daggers play the music and stuff like that. But I do love this room. It's one of my favorite guest rooms to build stuff, you know. Um, love the background of this room and the scenery of it. It's just so nice and detailed whoever made this room, you know. Like, come on. Um... Pirates guest room, you know. Who doesn't love pirates? You no, know, gotta be a pirate for your life. Um, oh, I can't look at that anymore because it's always glitch when that happens. Ooh, come on. Who wants to open their own restaurant with people? Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> um, my other favorite thing on this game, I showed you guys some guest rooms and stuff like that. I wish I could show you more, like, with other rooms I don't have. But as of right now, there's always a glitch when, like, you got your rooms and then you see it, like, you can't see, like, the popular list anymore, like, the rooms and stuff like that. 
I don't know if I'm fixed it yet. Hopefully it'll do soon. But another thing cool about it is like the pens they release, like come on. Who doesn't like Layla and Stitch pens? Who doesn't like the Ghost Friends pens? Pooh pens, the Halloween pens, um Kermit pens, you know, like the pets up once upon a time pens, you know, like there's a lot of pens on here that a lot of people like gravitate towards too, and then they were like, oh, we'll do this price, and people spend a lot of credits on these, some of these pens. Um, you know, come on. Sugar Mama, come on. The clothing, okay, the clothing wise, I have to agree with some of the clothing is really cool that they have made on the game. They made like different, like, a beanies for like the different, like, Country stuff like that. Why I have the Italy beanie because I'm part Italian. So Captain Jack Sparrow outfit, you know, it holds a teddy bear. You gotta be a cowboy on here. Gotta wear some Crocs that they made on here. Um, dream shirts, the different type of dream shirts they made. Um, the fear outfit, Nemo hat and the and the shirt. The football wear, the flight attendant outfits, you you name it, they'll have a lot of stuff in there. And they're actually taking suggestions all the time. Haunted Mansion outfits, you know, the holiday hats, you know what I mean? The plush you still get to hold, holding ice cream cones. Different outfits all the time, you guys. The different Mickey ears, we go to like, you know, to Disneyland and Walt Disney World and all that, different theme parks and all that. You buy your own Mickey ears for yourself. They have them on here. You can actually put on your character and wear different, different stuff. Okay, so now we're gonna do furniture. Where you actually can place furniture in rooms and actually basically make your own room, style it however you want. And they come up with really good furniture on this game. Like, come on. Do you want some experiments of like Stitch Cousins? Come on. Oh. The dwarves, so sorry, and the seven dwarves, got the different dwarves, put them around the rooms. You get the different um, glass flippers of different characters and stuff like that. Dory, Nemo, Halloween stuff, Valentine's Day stuff, Christmas stuff. You know, Little and Stitch stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, the Mickey uh, TV and all that, like, come on. The pirate throne chairs. The pirate map table. The the royal furniture and stuff like that. Posters. Everyone loves posters, you know what I mean? Oh, I forgot. Munster ink, the couches and stuff like that. The the teleport different teleports like Stitch and all that, the boats. And The garden furniture. So basically, you have posters too. My posters. These fish can be a little aquarium. If you buy an aquarium, I don't have an aquarium yet. They're too expensive to buy right now. So, the reason why I like this one basically is basically it brings back people's memories from the OG game. But also, like, if you can't go to the different theme parks because, you know, tickets are so expensive, you have to buy a hotel to go to the rooms, you know what I mean? This is like your own version of being in your own little world on a virtual game to be at Disney. Make your own rooms, play pirates, fireworks, on a mansion, build your own rides for the rooms. If you guys don't know, you got to go to the shop and actually buy your own ride pieces and basically make your own rides. Space Fountain Rides. So that is like a plus for a lot of us. To make rides and go however you want it. So for for me, it's just like the Disney experience. Like I don't go to Disneyland often. I've never been to Walt Disney World or any other theme park. And this is my escape to come on here and just enjoy something that's Disney related and have a great time. You know, making my room, interacting with people, making friends. You know what I mean. Even though it's like a virtual game, you still connect with people. Even if you're at like a Disney theme park and 
you meet someone, you talk to them, eventually you see them again or whatever, or, you know, or you play this game with all your friends, you guys help each other out with different stuff, help each other buy stuff. It's like when you go like, to different theme parks, you actually buy, help people out, like, paying for stuff because I don't have enough money, you know what I mean? Same thing on here, but just, you know, it's not real money. <laughs> So I do like this game a lot. And I'm hoping we get more people on here eventually to play it with us, you know. Very hard, you know. Um, so for the next game, I've streamed it like once or twice, basically. And it came out after the original VMK closed. It was an okay game. It's basically more about like history. If you guys like history, this, that, that's the game for you guys. History. They always talk about history stuff, talking about that. This is just about Disney. Disney history, Disney stuff, Disney furniture, clothing, whatever. You know? And that's how it's going to be. So, basically, this is Virtual Family Kingdom. You know? BFK. So, like, when you get a room. I don't know how this works anymore. So basically, when you first entered VFK, I'm going to go land. It's in one of the room options. You got these, like, hideous login rooms. And basically, uh, this, is one of, this is my login room that I go in. I could probably change it to another room, probably. I haven't done it in a long time. But some of the furniture they have, they're so into, like, Lava lamps. That's like one of their major things they have. But they have some cool rooms on here that I, you know, that only comes out during different events and stuff like that. Just like my VMK, but like everyone gets, to, everyone has a chance to participate and actually get the room. For this one, I don't know because I stopped playing it for a while and I got back into it. The other thing they're really into is the beach balls. That's another thing. So basically. Let me go to this. The only thing that's cool about these rooms is that they have these TVs, and you can make your own little videos with your character on the game, and then go to their main website and send the video in to see if it gets approved, and it goes on their TV screen. And the video will play, like if you put lyrics with the song or whatever. The thing cool about it is like this storage unit that came out. You could put the rest of like your furniture and stuff that has a lot. You know, they do, my, most of mine here is like red pieces. This name does red pieces too. But I just say like the Disney like rooms are like more nostalgic for me and brings a lot, a lot of memories. So when you exit, when you're in a logging room, whatever they give you now, I don't have what they give you guys now, is basically this is the garden. So they had a party last night with this furniture that came out recently. And every time I came into the garden, every time I played when I first started playing it, it was like drama central. My VMK has drama too with uh, certain people or a group of people think that they're better than everyone and they deserve like more respect. And that's not okay in that version of it. And then for this one, it's like, well... Like, it always was drama every day. People arguing about, like, how much the prices were for stuff. Or, like, let's say, they didn't get along with a certain person from, like, the beginning, whatever, how they spoke. But the other person that was friends would be, like, step in and do their little attacking. And it was, like, a whole attacking drama thing for, like, like months on end for how, many time, for how long I played. Now I don't know because I don't really play as much. Um, they do have some cool furniture and stuff in here, but it's not, like, crazy. So, you know, on Virgin Magic Kingdom, the map, you're able to click around on this one. Oh, boy. You had to walk everywhere, and a lot of us hated it. We kept saying, can you guys change it? Can you guys change it? Because you had to walk everywhere. And basically, it sucked. So when they started giving out quests for, like, different stuff, when we finally got our fairy, ma fairy magic to do quest fairy, they're able to go to different rooms and actually do it. So for me, a lot of these rooms on this map are not my favorite at all. I think the only thing that was my favorite was this outside part of the Merlin's 
magic shop. You know, be able to go on top here too. It takes you over to the side and takes you to the top. I, I understand that part. But what that sucks too is like the screen, since it's like an app thing now, um, it's on the internet, like your, your screen doesn't fully go across. Like if you try to do, see if I do make it wider, the talk bar disappears. If I minus it, it stays. So I wish they would add the talk bar on the screen and so we can make the screen bigger so we actually have it fit the whole screen, but whatever. Whatever they want to do, they could do it. So the other thing that was cool, actually the different maps were cool. A lot of them were not my favorite. Western Age, I would say the only thing that's really cool about Western Age is if you go to the Grand Hotel. And basically in this hotel, basically it became like a theme for everyone. And I know a lot of people on other online games, they don't accept this for children. It's a gambling room. You can gamble in here with your own credits and stuff like that. And I guess that's cool. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> so same thing when you have to go back to the map, same thing. This map was the last one to open. I came back and it was finally open. Um, it's an okay map. I wish there was more like stuff. Cause like on this one, you can exit to different rooms. I just finally wish there was like more to it. Cause like, you know, pirates, Clint Harbor and all that, like, you know, college, like there's a lot more about pirate stuff. I wish they added more stuff on their thing. Okay, so Retro Age. When Retro Age opened, it was like the most popular room. Took it back to like the 80s, 90s styles and stuff like that. And I think that my favorite rooms were the mall shop, roller rink, uh, the bumper car area. Um, Marcus Sheet was okay. They just started adding random stuff to it and I don't understand what they were trying to do. This was cool. You're able to get your own um, stuff every time you came in here. Okay, oh, I, I have a magic on, so I can't get it. Um, this. So I'm not going to exit, because if I do that, it takes me back to the actual map. So I'm actually just going to walk it. At this point, it's like the best thing to do at this point, because you can't... My favorite thing was this bumper car area. So much fun. Loved it. You actually be click on it, click on bumper you want, and actually hang out with people playing bumper cars. That was a really cool idea they did. This record store actually like cause it's old, like records. You know that they, they people can actually play on their systems and stuff like that. But it came out a little bit later when after I left, so like I didn't have a chance to look at any of it until recently. And another thing, cool part about this is. There's this burger joint outside, but also go, it's going to roller skating place, you know, and click shop, you know what I mean? Same thing, buy your roller skates. And you can go over here and actually roller skate, you know what I mean? Which is really cool, you know, that, that's a cool feature to have. You know, um, other than that, like, that's it, that's part of my, I wish we can go up here. They wouldn't know, let's go up to the top part. That's what it sucks. But other than that, like, this room actually slides over, and it's going to be bigger. Like, a lot of rooms, they do slide over. Um, Epic Ages. So, S Space Age was my favorite map on here, because I was always at Space Pirates, playing Space Pirates all the time. This Night Fighter is actually a laser tag. Um, I used to play all the time, too, but, like, my favorite, Favorite actually. No, this tag's on here. This is a uh, Night Fighters. Oh, you gotta fight each other. I forgot about that. I haven't played the game in so long. Jesus. I <laughs> they added furniture here for us to sit down, but like it was really cool to play Space Pirates with people all the time and have a great time. However, the only thing that was really weird when I came back, 
they have this freaking alien freaking thing here. And I was like, what the hell is this? And then the only way, it's a store. But the only way to get in there is if you get the alien magic. To actually go in the store. Which was like the most stupidest thing ever. Other than that, I didn't really care about any other rooms on here. Besides Space Pirates mostly. Because I was always in Space Pirates. The Fairy Age. Um, they changed it a lot actually. From the very beginning, so but I never really like hung out in the fairy age map. This is more 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 folk age. Just like the mermaid area. I really never hung out in here at all either. Now they have stuff in the in the chests you can get stuff. Anyway, Splash Tastic Splash Tastic was actually one of my favorite maps only because Tiki themed. You know what I mean? Ocean theme, tiki themes, you know what I mean? So basically it was really cool because you can actually go watch a movie at the theater. Actually, let me see if I actually can do that. There's always people at the movie theater, but I never know if I can get in or not because it's like, oh, oh, never mind. I can never get in there and then I have to fall so into that room. But basically they play like Harry Potter and stuff all the time on it. This is actually one of my favorite maps. I'm actually going to use my fairy magic. Because it's easier just to get quicker to show you guys. Because the characters walk so slow. And then like, to go back to the map all the time when you have to just get somewhere. This used to be different back in the day. There were never any animals in here. And then they added animals and stuff when I came back. And I was like what the hell is this? We actually can order off the menu and actually cook, um, get food, actually. But, um, the other thing that's cool, I, look, this whole map is the only map I hung a lot into because of the different areas. Like, this, water coming down on the main entrance area, and going over here, uh, I hated this part. They walk so slow. I hate when they walk slow, and then like also like it just takes forever. If I had the music playing, I would play it. But like it was so. When I was in the main like login room, there was like music playing for the TV, and when you do play music off of like a game or whatever, that's not added to Twitch or like approved by Twitch for, for artists. They block whatever you're saying, everything. So it's not. I'm so doing that. I actually can turn up for these probably. Let me the freaking menu to turn it on. Okay, yeah. Um, so this is like a little area to hang out in, you know, bar. Okay, I'm going to go to the map so it'll be easier because I can't, okay, walking, that's, that's why it sucks because your character walks so slow and you just can't click on the map to wherever you need to go. So that's, it's just easier for me just to go to the map and just, that's something that sucks about this map is that we have the inland ocean area and Oh, there's actually someone here. Oh. You actually can go in the water. If you don't have your railing suit off and on, you just go to the little doors over here, get, change your outfit, and you can go in the pool. For me, the other thing that's cool for me is... So I just got to keep clicking yourself and doing, like, on VMK. You don't have, like, the little magic button. You have to put the magic on your lanterns. That's the only thing that sucks about this game, is I get to keep doing that. But it's cool because you get your own little floaty. Let me go over here. <laughs> and then the next room is the diving board area. Wait, where am I? I don't even know where I'm at. But this is the diving board area. You can actually 
go on the different areas, click on it, it takes you up and go jump, jump off the diving board. Can't really do tricks off of it, but it's cool, I guess. Okay, that was weird. I glitched. That was weird. So, back to Splash Tactic really quickly. Um, I basically showed you guys everything. The shop, it's whatever. Ice-tastic. Okay, ice side is really cool. I do like the lodge the most. And then you can go to... I would always hang out here too because of the fireplace and all that, but... This is the area. They change. They leave holiday stuff all the time out. It's not okay. Not okay. Nope. Like, they're still stand saying, Merry Christmas. It's not even Christmas anymore. <laughs> um, it's almost soon, but, like, not, like... So, I have to go to my shoes. And I'm going to have to search. It's much more easier doing it this way. To go on this, you have to put your skates on. And you can just jump. Then the next exit to see another secret room. To like a bigger one. And basically you can slide up. This room actually slides. And But then they added like... Freaking chairs in this room of teddy bears. And a fire, fire going on. I don't know what they did with that. It should melt the ice. It's too hot. Alright. Fuck doing this. Open road. So basically, I think you have to do a quest or something. And you get your own vehicle in your own room. And you can drive in these amazing areas and do a race and stuff like that. But I didn't really hang out in these rooms much. Victorian age. Um, I would say the only thing I hung out in was Main Street at night for the closing parties. Mostly. Because we always have closing parties here. And then... Like... This room. Why is the grass on fire? Oh, it's... Why is it on fire? What the hell? Alright. Not gonna answer any questions about that. Because <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Australia, you know, I would think the other thing that's really cool is in here is I would always go to the Australia waterfall only, and then they, this waterfall never used to move, and then they edited it, so never did the editing a good job on that, but it's not the same. The other thing too cool is I waited so long for this dude to open, like years, and then finally I came back, it was open, I was like, oh, it took that long. But I understand why it took so long. You have to buy the ticket to get in, though. Is that they made all these different rooms. And I would say my favorite is the the Polar Cafe. Because of the iceness and stuff like that. Love it. And I think my other favorite room would be the Treehouse. You know, there's not a lot of rooms in here that are my, my like, Favorite, favorite. It's actually a store treehouse, by the way. No, no, like, at least stick out to me. The water show's okay. They have, like, the dolphin and stuff like that. The reptile house. Safari gift shop. Arctic Zone, maybe. I don't know. I, at least this is all new to me, but I know that when I came back, I would always hang out in those rooms a little bit. Oh, no. So all these rooms are not like my favorite, as you guys can tell. That's not my favorite. So these are the popular rooms. So they do have this room that came out. This person's name's Oops, with a lot of O's, because that's how they named it. Oh. They did have their own little pool. Like, own furniture. Like, a lot of the furniture is, like, different from the Disney, because this game is not about Disney. It's a different game. Um, Thanksgiving Barn. Uh, oh, 
Interesting. Um, ooh, this is a really cool room. That's under a staff name right now. No. Okay. I don't even know if they've released these rooms to the, to the players, but they're really cool to look at. Interesting. Oh, wow. Creepy. Creepy! Oh, that's cool. I'm actually looking at the staff rooms, because this is like... Um, because staff have a lot of cool rooms that, like, a lot of people don't have, because it's just staff rooms. The golf course one. I've seen half of these rooms that they make half the time. Interesting. Um, for me, like a lot of the rooms they made, they always made rooms, these horrible rooms, like comparing a dark room to like Virgin Magic King room. The thing that's cool is that they made their own, like, beach rooms, like, all these beach rooms they always made. That was my favorite part, actually, having the beach rooms. They were so... I actually made this room for a contest. See? Um... The furniture is okay, you know, it's not like, they have a mini fridge and stuff like that. I know like, on my VMK, they're adding their own little twist to like furniture and stuff on the game, which is fine. Um, they always make football rooms. Like, this is like, the new one that came out recently and has like the football outside the windows. Um, the only thing that I liked really the most were these like tropical rooms. And, but they're really hard to build in, of course, you know what I mean? So if you have a theme that works out, if not, then it is what it is. Like, I couldn't really build rooms in these rooms, like, because a lot of these rooms, and then some of the stuff you typed on here, you couldn't really, like, say, and they started adding it. Like, this room, the stage, it just reminds me of, like, the Mark Twain steamboat on Marshall Magic Kingdom. So it's like another twist copy of another room. Um, I can't really build anything in these rooms. I don't know, like, a lot of stuff that came out with that's really cool, like, furniture-wise. Let me show the furnitures. Like, this is, like, back in the day. And then, like, going on, they started getting, like, more good at furniture and stuff like that. But, like, Air hockey, you know, like, this game is about history, so they always do history stuff, so that's why there's all this on here. Fortune Orb, Thanksgiving, summer, a lot of summer stuff, Tiki stuff, you know, um, I have so much furniture, I don't even play this game anymore, so, like, I just don't know what to do with it, I just leave it on my account, I come on and check on friends, you know, clothing wise, the clothing wise on here, are very hideous at first, and then they started getting better at it with the different graph designers they had. But I would say Disney clothing is way better on the on Virtual Magic Kingdom. I have to say, way better. And I'm hoping we get more like. <laughs> it just got worse than the pens. So different. A lot of animation pens, of course. You no. Know, 
This is all my magic, in which I have to put on my lantern. To, and then I have to use it that way, which sucks. I don't know, I never liked it like that. I, I liked it how on, on Virtual Magic Kingdom, you can you had like a bun for magic, and you can use your magic. That was like the best thing, because you never have to put on your lantern, nothing like that. This one, you have to put on your lantern just to, like, like use it. And I never really liked it like that. I never liked walking on the map. I never... Like, the drama that happened all the time in the different rooms, mostly in the garden room, I never liked a lot of it. Like, the rooms, they're okay, because it's history, but at the same time, I never really fully liked the game. I only was on it to reconnect with all my friends after the original VMK closed, because there was no contact information or anything like that with each other. So the only thing we had was going from one game to the other. And then, like, when the game first started, I think a lot of people didn't play, because how creepy the characters looked right when you joined. And then there was not a lot of things open at all either. So I would say the characters on Virtual Magic Game are more accurate to like us today. And Virtual Magic Game, it's like kind of accurate, I guess now, but before it was so freaking creepy. I have to agree with everyone on that. It was very creepy. But, like, these rooms, like, like, this is the front of my house. What am I supposed to do with it? <laughs> I, I don't know. The rooms they made have the time. Like, under the sea. Okay, I'm under the sea now. as my mermaid. Merman, whatever. What am I supposed to do? I couldn't really build anything in this room. Does it work? The, the graveyard. They made a graveyard room. What am I supposed to build in here besides a graveyard and when you made a graveyard for me over here? You know? So, the rooms, are a lot of them are okay on here, but they're not, like, up to, like, Disney standards where you actually can make rooms around certain things and actually build something. You know what I mean? Um, I would say this, I could just make this, like, a witch graveyard. Hocus Pocus style, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> they have like all these other quests that pop up that I've never done besides like the television and stuff like that and then, and then these if the quests are all the stuff like you have to do like the like the fairy magic and all that and you have to do all these quests just to do certain things and like for a tiger you have to be do a tiger to get to tiger area like I don't know I Never liked it. And then the events on here were different too. A lot of ride, ride events, and then most of them were staff would pop up into rooms. And you, the first person that said their name completely, they would get a prize. This is like there was. Now I don't even know about events anymore because I don't really play anymore. Like, I can, go, I can look at the map here. After all this freaking loads, it takes forever. Today's the tent. So they have the sca the scavenger hunt on on it, and then they have certain times. See, like there's not a lot of events, only crossword and word searches. There's never a lot of events, just quests and stuff like that. And scavenger hunt, so there's like never any staff events anymore, which sucks. You can also make your own room as a event, and it'll pop in events. But I did that once. I didn't really like it. Um, these are the rooms I join. All my like the rooms are okay. Like if I do snowy hillside. This is the room. Like, I'm probably gonna stack up stuff and block this whole. I never really liked it. It's not my forte. <laughs> I will say more in Virtual Magic Kingdom, and hopefully, we see you guys more on there. The people that left and took a break, or we get more people on there. So, please join us on there.